Devri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 20. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon, and with them other beside the Ammonim, came against Yahushaphat to battle. Then there came some that told Yahushaphat, saying, There comes a great multitude against you from beyond the sea on this side Aram, and behold, they be in Chatatsan Temar, which is Ain Gadi. And Yahushaphat feared, and set himself, rather, and set at himself to seek Yahuwah, and proclaimed at a fast throughout all Yahuda. And Yahuda gathered themselves together to ask help of Yahuwah. Even out of all the cities of Yahuda, they came to seek at Yahuwah. And Yahushaphat stood in the assembly of Yahudah and Yerushalayim in the house of Yahuwah before the new court and said, O oh, Yahuwah Elohai of our fathers, are not your Elohim in heaven? Rather, are not you Elohim in heaven and rule not you over all the kingdoms of the heathen? And in your hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand you? Are not your rather are not you our Elohim, who did drive out at the inhabitants of this land before your people Yashadael, and gave it to the seed of Avraham, your friend, for ever? And they dwelt therein and have built you a sanctuary therein for your name, saying, If when evil comes upon us, as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house, and in your presence, for your name is in this house, and cry unto you in our affliction, then you will hear and help us. Rather, you will hear and help, And now, behold, the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, whom you would not let Yashadael invade, when they came out of the land of Mitzrayim. But they turned from them and destroyed them not. Behold, I say, how they reward us to come to cast us out of your possession, which you have given us to inherit. O oh, our Elohim, will you not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that comes against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon you. And all Yahudah stood before Yahuwah with their little ones, their women and their children. Then upon Yahaziel, the son of Zachariah, the son of Benayahu, the son of Ye'el, the son of Matanyahu, a Levi of the sons of Echaf, came the Ruach Yahuwah in the midst of the assembly. And he said, Hearken ye all Yahuda, and ye inhabitants of Yerushalayim, and you king Yahusaphat, thus says Yahuwah unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but Elohim's. Tomorrow go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of seats, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of Yeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see at the Yahshua of Yahuwah with you. O Yahuda and Yerushalayim, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for Yahuwah will be with you. And Yahushaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Yahuda and the inhabitants of Yerushalayim fell before Yahuwah, before rather worshipping Yahuwah, and the Leviim of the children of the Kohatim, 
and of the children of the Korki, rather Korki, stood up to praise Yahuwah Elohim of Yah Shara'el with a loud voice on high. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Yahushaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Yahuda, and ye inhabitants of Yerushalayim. Believe in Yahuwah Elohechem, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto Yahuwah, and that should praise the beauty of holiness, as they went out before the army, and to say, Praise Yahuwah, for his mercy endures for ever. And when they began to sing and to praise, Yahuwah set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Yahuda, and they were smitten. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. And when Yahuda came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, they were dead bodies fallen to the earth, and none escaped. And when Yahushaphat and his people came to take away at the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both riches with the dead bodies and precious jewels which they stripped off for themselves, more than they could carry away. And they were three days in gathering of the spoil. It was so much. And on the fourth day, they assembled themselves in the valley of Beracha, for there they blessed Eth Yahweh. Therefore Eth, the name of the same place, was called the valley of Beracha unto this day. Then they returned, every man of Yahuda and Yerushalayim and Yahushaphat, in the forefront of them, to go again to Yerushalayim with joy. For Yahuwah had made them to rejoice over their enemies. And they came to Yerushalayim with psalteries and harps and trumpets unto the house of Yahuwah. And the fear of Elohim was on all the kingdoms of those countries when they had heard that Yahuwah fought against the enemies of Yahshara'el. So the realm of Yahushaphat was quiet, for his Elohim gave him rest round about. And Yahushaphat reigned over Yahuda. He was thirty and five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and five years in Yerushalayim. And his mother's name was Azuvah, the daughter of Shilki. And he walked in the way of Acha, his father, and departed not from it, doing that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah. Howbeit the high places were not taken away, for as yet the people had not prepared their hearts unto the Elohim of their fathers. Now the rest of the acts of Yahushaphat, first and last, behold, they are written in the Sefer of Yahu, the son of Hanani, who is mentioned in the Sefer of the kings of Yashar'el. And after this did Yahushaphat, king of Yahuda, join himself with Echaz-Yahu, king of Yashara'el, who did very wickedly. And he joined himself with him to make ships to go to Tarshish. And they made the ships in etzian Gever. Then Eleazar, the son of Dodav-Ahu, of Marisha prophesied against Yahushaphat, saying, Because you have joined yourself with Ahaziahu, 
Yahuwah has broken at your works. And the ships were broken, that they were not able to go to Tarshish.